chickens how are we all doing today it's sunday and angela here again as usual i am um, got a little project i wanted to share with you i was inspired by karen from the creative paper artisan if you haven't seen her video she makes a beautiful folio project um with gift tags and a little note um booklet thing that fits all together um, and she created the, the folio out of a, a cardboard packaging box so really if you haven't seen that go and have a look but today I'm going to do my version of this I um, wanted to combine those two elements into something I can put into our journal rather than having a standalone so um, I have done what I would normally do um, <laughs> in my own style there we go so i am mine's a bit quite different really um so i'm using an envelope because you know that's what i do and you know that by now this envelope measures nine and a quarter by i think four and a half yes all right but any envelope is going to work um this is an actual junk mailer you can see i've slit the top really well so that i can use it um and now i'm not going to give you the measurements you can look in the screen below because the rule is too short right so you just need one of these it doesn't need a window that doesn't need to be there as long as it's not going to be too wide so it will fit onto your journal page that's the most important bit um i have used really two pieces of paper from my background pages from my spirit of christmas kit um the one is this collage page with the blue border so that we're going to use today and i've also used some gingham paper the blue all right so that's what we're going to use i've used tea stained pages so you'll need a couple of tea stained pages i think i took seven or so seven or eight sheets which we'll cut up and then we will be making some little tags and i'll show you what i did with that all right so let's get cracking so you want to grab your envelope you want to make sure that you it's nice and neatly slit on the side there which it is um the one thing i always tend to encourage you to do is just look um, at these little flaps here these things that are loose you need to stick them down because when you want to put something into that pocket then this sort of catches so i do encourage you to do that so look for the loose bits like that is there one on this side yeah look it's not quite stuck down and that always um, becomes a problem if you don't deal with that. So we've got those all stuck down. It's still open there, look, 100%. Okay, I'm pretty happy with all of that. Um, we are good to go. Now I'm going to fold this over. You can see I've already uh, sort of mocked up what I wanted to do. Uh, this flap here is one and three quarter inches. All right, so one and three quarter inches you are looking at about four and a half centimeters just an estimate you don't have to measure it just gauge it so it wants to look like that okay so as i said you don't need to worry about the window in this case because we are going to cover that up so what i did with this was i took that sheet of collage paper um and we'll use the piece over there i'll show you in a minute i have cut a shorter piece for the front so that it'll go over there yeah and i didn't go all the way up because that's going to end up being stuck down so i was conserving paper and then we are going to go and stick this one on the back and this will cover the whole of the back area with a flap folded down like that all right so i love this page um i'm going to do that quickly um so let's get going now i'm not stitching anything here um as far as the papers are concerned and don't get confused it was a misprint i had on the other side i save all my misprint pages as you know for myself so that i don't waste the paper because i do use really good quality um presentation type paper um and it's 160 gsm so in pound weight you are looking at 60 pound weight so yeah you know you don't see anything on the other side so it's why waste it 
yeah so if you have any misprints keep that i've got a box where i put them in and i draw from there because if it's just the one side i need then you know why go and take out a, a perfectly clean sheet when i can just do that and who's any the wiser right so yeah recycling in all every way today <laughs> with a mailer and recycle piece of misprint paper yeah it's all happening here today right, i'm just giving that a little bit of an inking there i'm quite happy with that and then i'm going to stick this one down as i said right over the window like that yeah we'll do that now you can leave the window open if you want i am going to put a tag in there with the the leftover piece i'll show you what i did with that um yeah and <laughs> i had fun with that i really enjoyed how it came out i hope you've all been having a great um week i know there was thanksgiving on thursday so yeah i know that i've had some lovely messages from people telling me all that they did amazing to hear what other people do at different for different um celebrations it always amazes me and just lovely to hear so i did tell my family we will be celebrating as well we had a bit of a thank thanksgiving of our own on friday when we went out um together as a family and had a wonderful time so definitely going to make that an annual event right just put some of this on here there we go <clears throat> really quick and easy isn't it Right, um, what I did with the other piece to make up the card here is bearing in mind this is going to be stuck down. So I didn't want to, you can go further up there, but um, I'm only going to use this bit for the card. I am putting a card and I'm going to tell you what I'm, 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 my thinking is here. I've taken the end strip that remained. You can see there's the present and the tree. Um, I cut this out, I had a second page, um, and I cut out the little tin soldiers, and I've just stuck them on the edge there, and I've cut it off there. I went for the dark blue lines all around there with the Christmas tree, so this bit comes at the end here. And then, as I said, stuck on the soldiers, and then this little sentiment, we wish you a Merry Christmas over here. Now that's going to end up going in here and my thinking is I don't know if you have anybody like this in your family but my daughter is a busybody when it comes to Christmas gifts and um, this is going to be my secret um, information that's going on in the back here so she can't see what the gift plans are for herself or anybody else for that matter that I might want to hide away so that's my secret notes department in there <laughs> she's terrible so I've got to hide everything and then um, what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to take our tea stain pages and I said I think I used six or seven I think it was about seven actually and what I've done is I have cut them to fit over here and I just need to trim them and I thought I'd just show you how I do that but I've taken my um, pages I've made them about a quarter of an inch narrower than my envelope I have stitched across there you can go and glue each page on if you don't have a sewing machine um, I did have to go slow because it's quite thick actually but it did it bless it um, and all I need to do now is measure the length so what I'm going to do is I don't need that on there um, I'm going to just fit that up at the top. Um, at this point, I'm just um, seeing how long I want it before I cut that off. And I'm going to have it here. So I'm just sort of making the same gap that I have there and there over here. So all I do, and I really should stand up to do this, is... I have my paper trimmer and it makes fluffy edges and I don't like it. And it's probably because I need a new blade. But the blades don't last long and that's why I always resort to my my crafting knife or my knife. It's really a Stanley knife, but it works a treat and it's cheap. <laughs> and then I just very carefully go over those pages. You get a lovely clean cut with this. I will keep those because... Um, 
I like to stamp on them, words and things, so that I'll keep. There we've got a, such a neat cut, look at that. And it's all ready to go, you've got your booklet. And I'm going to now take my Fabri-Tac glue. Now you can go and stitch across this, That's, but I think I'm pushing the envelope as far as um, thickness is concerned. I think it's had enough for, it, for today with that. So I'm going to just put some glue on this, both these sides here very quickly and get that stuck in. And I think while I'm waiting for that glue to run down, I'm going to just get these clips, clip this in place. So just making sure I've got it straight. If you don't have these sorts of clips, paper clips will work. Right, so I'm just gonna put one there and one here. That's gonna make sure that I have it in place. Yeah, so I can just lift that up then. Okay, so we've got that there. I'm going to lift that up and get some glue on the top here. And you want to go to the edges, not too far down. Um, about there, that's going to get that bottom bit in and stick the sides down. I'm going to put some not too close to the edge just because it's going to squeeze, isn't it? It's going to ooze down a bit and then you want to put some on the top as well. Like that. Right, hopefully that's going to do the job. Right, you can let that go, push it down and then um, before I put that down, sorry, gosh, I nearly forgot this now. Right, we want to get some lace on, I do. So I'm going to get my lace on while I'm at it. Now, I often forget the lace um, and then afterwards it's on my desk. <laughs> right, so I'm just putting a little bit of lace here just to pretty it up, move it along a bit. I'm just using the lace edge there to make sure it's straight. There we go. And then we want to just get some glue again on top of that lace. There we go. And then <clears throat> ever so carefully, you want to just get that stuck down. And then move those clips up there and up there. Okay, maybe we want another two clips. So I'm just going to grab another two here next to me. Just for further up. That's not the one I'm pulling out all sorts in that little pot. Right, so I'm going to put another one over here. Just to grip those sides down, you see. There we go. Good. We're good to go. Oh, I was going to stamp on there. I might still do that. Okay. So we've got that bit done. Then what we want to do, we'll come back and decorate that piece. What I want to do over here, I have got a, a strip of paper that fits the length of this piece of paper on the back of my envelope. I have folded it in half. So effectively, you're looking at just over two and a half, well, pretty close to two and a half inches wide. And I have folded that just in half to give it some stability. I'm going to just stick this together. Now, I think this booklet would make a great gift for friends before Christmas. Um, and if you're doing the Christmas theme, of course, but you could do this in a birthday theme and give it to somebody as a birthday gift filled with um, floral or any theme that they're a fan of um, and give it to them. It's like a all in one. And you'll see what I mean when I come to the end. Right. This is the side I inked. I'm just checking. So we want to just make sure we've got that there. Now, I did think to keep it flat, I'm going to use my washi. Now, you can use whatever you want. You can use a strip of paper if that's what you have. I want to just bring a splash of red. So I'm just going to go like that. This is just for decorative purposes, and hopefully I can keep it straight here. 
Right, so that's going to just give you a little bit of decoration right there. You can put anything on here, really, absolutely anything, but that's all I'm going to do to this. Now, while I've got these bits clipped here, I'm going to quickly, that's the folded edge, so I'm going to put some glue on the other three sides. So just a bit over there, I'm going to make it a bit wider there on the ends. And here... I hope that you've um, all seen I have a black sale on in my website shop. So if you haven't already, if you want a really good deal, it's the best sale offering I have ever had on bundles and digitals. 50% off, up to 50% off on digitals, I think. Most digitals, pretty much everything. And a huge, huge discounts on the bundles that remain in my shop so they're not only christmas ones i've got little ladies the blues um i've got ultimate kits i've got christmas ultimate kits i've got surprise boxes um i did a couple of um still have a couple secret garden surprise boxes so you get a whole load of stuff crinkle ribbon and everything um if you're interested go and pop over to my website shop for it, it is an absolute bargain and that will be going out on tuesday uh, monday our postal office delivery office is only open for an hour and it's like eight o'clock in the morning so i can't physically put all the postage together and you know there's a whole regime that they want you to do <laughs> it's impossible because you can't do it the night before so yeah Tuesday morning it is, or Tuesday afternoon, one or the two. Right, I've got those clipped in place. Just removing these over to this side now, like that. And now I'm going to go back to this side. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I want to just um, trim off this little bit of lace on both sides. There we go. Right, now I want to decorate this little flap over here. So what I've done is just to bring in the blue again that we had on the back. And I'm going to uh, stick that down and I'll put those clips on afterwards. So that's going to go over here. I do have a lot of blue at Christmas. Blue and pink I tend to do for Christmas. Although I know that I have been asked by the children to do red this year. Bring red into it, Mom. <laughs> And yeah, red's um, quite a daunting colour for me because I have everything pretty pastel. Uh, funny enough, my car's red, <laughs> but that's, I don't know why. I think because red cars go faster, that's what it is, ladies. Um, but nothing else is really red. Okay, so we've got that there. I'm going to carry on squeezing that flat. And here, oh, that looks good, much better, right? And then what we're going to do is I've got Rachel's little mouse from her timeless Christmas kit, the little fussy cuts, and I couldn't resist him. So he's going to go on here um, along with one of my candy canes. So I'm going to put that behind. And then one of these and then naughty or nice. It was on a green bit, but again, I wanted to bring the red in. So I've just backed it onto a bit of red gingham because this is going to be your naughty or nice list, isn't it? Right. So we want to just get our little candy cane here and we'll get that stuck behind the little mouse. So I'm just gauging where it needs to go exactly. And then the little mouse has got the cheekiest little face. And I think I've told you before, I have a fam family of field mice at the bottom of my garden and they live just beneath the big tree there where all the bird seed lands to. <laughs> the birds are messy feeders and um, well, all that ends up feeding the family of field mice down there. So, yeah, and I do, um, I've given them my, their winter feed at the moment, the birds, and I do have loads of birds and I go through 25 kilos of bird seed along with the fat, berry fat pellets, the dried worms, and <laughs> what's the other thing I put in there? Peanuts. Yeah, it's a whole um, story going on there. Right, I'm going to just put the little holly like that. 
there we go as cute as a button and then naughty or nice because this is your lists for gifts so you want to put your naughty or nice a recipients down <laughs> and um, whatever your thoughts are for their gifts or any other lists that you want to make for for your um, lists for Christmas cards um, absolutely anything like that so let's get this stuck down how sweet is that right uh, we're almost done so I'm going to slide this in To the little pocket here so that's going to go in here that's for the secret notes that you need to write so that they can't see what they're getting um, so we stuck with the blue and the red there which is amazing and then on the back here last thing I need to share with you is I wanted to make um, like Karen did I wanted to make um, the little gift tags so what I did was I went to my own tags um, and I've got these in my add-on kit, the Spirit of Christmas add-on kit. But any Christmas tags that you have, um, these were six to a page. And what I did was I printed two of these per sheet of paper. So they're half the size. All right, so that's what I've done. And I, um, as I have two lots of those, I printed both of them. So they, they would look like this on a sheet of paper, but these are, uh, di they, they each of them are different. All right, so I thought this is perfect. Why reinvent the wheel? I have these tags and they're going to be perfect for what I needed to do. So once I printed those out two to a page, I then um, backed them with my, this is from my mini journal, but any subdued or background page that you can still write on would work well so this is perfect because it's just like a very soft gold and cream so that's that um and then i cut them out and here we have them so i cut out one set of each which is 12 tags and using my um just ink them around there that's what they look like on the back so it's easy to write um to and from message on there I've just used my um, candy uh, twine um, like this. That comes from the Ultimate Bundle if you bought that. Um, but I'm sure you've got. And then I measured six inches. So that's 15 centimeters for that. Folded in half and just threaded through this little hole, which I made using the, not the big hole, the small hole. All right, so that's all I did there. Simple as that, and they're good to go. So they, they, they got double the the paper weight. So you're looking at sixty pound weight times two. So it's more than a one ten pound weight, or, you know, in grams, um, GSM grams, you're looking at three hundred and twenty GSM. So there you go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to slide those into this pocket over here, so that you've got. It all ready to go yeah and I'm sure with all these different designs there's lots for anybody you know you can find something for everybody's gift right so that's all there is to that and this now can go into your journal we'll find a spot for it so um, yeah Right, so if you turn that over, I know it looks chunky, but it's not. It's pretty flat if you have a look at it like that. Pretty flat. Um, we'll be able to slide. Look at all those <laughs> lovely sites there. Now you can, um, you know, cover the, press those down on the side, but I quite like them sticking out at the minute. So what have you got here? You've got a list now to write for all the naughty or night, all the recipients of gifts you want to buy. Um, you've also got their gift tags that you can make up and um, pull out and stick onto the presents um, accordingly. So it's an all-in-one for you. And this is going to go into your journal. This is your secret list um, card. So you can write on the back there, anybody who, you know, is f fiddling. If you've got a fiddler like my um, page, you can just write her details or anybody that you, any secret information you want to write about, perhaps your partner or somebody like that. You can write their details in there so that they are 
blissfully unaware and of course the recipes that you want to make um i know i make a lot of lists at christmas the order of what of, of cooking um your card lists christmas lists shopping lists all those lists you've got loads of paper on there to do all of that and it can tear off or do whatever it is that you need to do all right so thank you karen for the inspiration um, I hope that you guys enjoy this and go and give this a go. This is very easily popped into a journal, whether it's a pocket or a cover or anything at all. Um, and I think it's really, as I say, a really good gift to give somebody, even in a birthday theme, not necessarily a Christmas theme. All right. So, um, yeah, that's my story for the day. <laughs> Go and have some fun trying this out. I know that you're going to enjoy it. Go and grab an envelope because we love an envelope project and go and have fun making this. All right, everyone, have an enjoyable Sunday. I will see you again on Tuesday. Don't forget about the Black Friday sales. Um, you know, if there's a member of the family who's asking you what can they get you for Christmas and there's something you've been eyeing, them, eyeing up, you know where to send them. All right, everyone, stay well. See you soon. Bye-bye.